Now in this video, we'll talk about a special variable called name. In fact, it's underscore underscore name, then underscore underscore. Okay, now maybe you have seen this before. In fact, we have seen this before, but I don't think you will remember that. It's been a long time anyway. So what I will do is I will just comment both the code here from demo and calc. We are still using in that package of calculator. And now I want to show you something. So I'm in demo and let me print. Remember we, we talked about something called globals, which prints all the global variable for a file. And let's do that. So I will just run this. And before I do that, I need to move to the calculator folder. And once I'm there, I can just run this python demo.py. And this is going to print all the global values. So it is printing the name. This is what we are going to use. Apart from this, there are other things as well. But I'm more concerned about this particular variable here, which is name. So instead of printing globals, we can just print name variable and let's see what it prints. So I will just clear it, run, and you can see it prints main. Okay. So that means whenever you try to print name, the default value for that would be main, right? Okay. Let's do the same thing in the calculator. And let's do that now. So let's run. Okay, we're still running demo, my bad. I will just run the calc. And even that is printing main. That means whenever you run a file, the default value for name is main. Okay, now let me go back to demo and let's import calc. Now what will happen is whenever you try to import a particular module, it will import all the things from the module. It will also execute the statements inside the module. So this statement is in calc and in demo, we are importing it and we are printing here as well. So that means it is going to print two statements, one this and one this one. So dif to differentiate, I will write here in calc and let's print the name. The same thing I'm going to do in demo and I will say in demo and I'll let me give a comma here, okay? And now let's run this. So I'm going to run the calc first and in calc, we are not importing some other module. So only this particular part is going to run. So we are running it, it says in calc and then it prints main. Let's run the demo now. And when, when you do that, look at the output. The second statement is in demo main and that makes sense because that's what you are printing. But what about this first statement? We are not printing it here. We are doing that in the calc. And as I mentioned before, it will execute that part. It says in calc, calc. That's weird because when we ran calc, it was printing main, but now it is printing calc. So what is this? So the idea is whenever you run a file, so let's say if you run the calc.py file, just this file, this becomes your main file. And that's why the name is by default main. Okay. But when you import the file or the module in some other file. Now, when you try to print this name there, it will print the name of the module, which is calc in this case. So without the extension.py, that's your module. Okay, so to, things to remember, whenever you run demo, which is a file where you're printing name, it will print main, but the module in which you're printing name, it will print the module name. But when you run the calc as it is, as a file, it will print it as a main. So whichever file you're running, that file variable, name variable would be main. Now the question is why this is important, why we are even talking about it. So let's try to understand that with an example. I'm going to comment this, I'm going to comment this, I'm not going to use this anymore now. Let's go to calc and uncomment this part. So we got two functions here and the idea of this making this module was to use it in the demo. But now let me, because see, if you just execute calc now, it's not going to print anything because we are just defining these two functions. We are not calling anything. So here, let me call them. So I will call add, I will call sub. Okay. And now if I run this, okay. So I, I, I don't know why I'm assuming that I'm printing things here. So I should be printing it here. So print whatever add returns and print and whatever sub returns. So let's clear this and run. It says addition and subtraction. And that perfectly makes sense because we are calling them, we are printing whatever value they return. Now let me go back to demo. Inside demo, we did this thing before. So I will just uncomment that and comment the import part at this point. So we are using this particular statement for the importing and I'm calling add, it is printing result. So what do you think should happen if I run this file and it should print result, which is addition. In fact, when I print result here, I would say in demo 
and then I'm going to print result. So it should print in demo and the whatever value addition returns or add returns, which is addition. So it should, it should print in demo addition. That's what I'm expecting. But we have discussed that whenever you import a module, it is going to execute these statements as well. So that means it's going to execute this function. So I mean, it is going to ex execute this statement by, for creating a function. It is also going to execute these two things as well. And that's why if you see the output, it will print addition, subtraction, and in demo addition. It's because we are writing this statement. So what should I do? Should I remove this statement? If I remove this statement, then it will there, will, there will not be an issue. So if I run demo, it's not going to print it. But then if I call calc, it's not going to print anything. But I want it to print those things when I call calc. So we have a deadlock here. Should I comment it or uncomment it? And that's where we can be a bit smart. Now how we can be smart here? We can write this particular thing, which is if name is equal to equal to main, then only execute this statement. Okay, now what it will do is, let's try. Okay, I'll show you first the output, then we'll talk about it. So let me clear it and run calc. We are getting addition subtraction, but I, when I run demo, we're not getting it. So problem solved. So how it is working? See, we, we know whenever you run calc, the value for name would be main. It is matching, it will execute. But when you run demo, where you are importing a module, at that point, then the value for this name would will not be main. It will be calc, not matching, don't execute. And that's how it works. And you are going to see that multiple times. Okay, so whenever you see name is equal to equal to main, so the intention was if this is a main file, then only execute this part. Otherwise, use everything here as a module functions in some other uh, file M maybe function classes or anything which we'll see later but you got the point so this is how the special variable name works and we are going to use it later see you in the next point